Okay, this is the variable rate pool. You can have, in this case, four assets, DAI, USDC, ETH, and Bitcoin, wrap Bitcoin. These four assets represent 80% of the market today, more than one lending, so these four assets, you have 80% the Pareto, four assets represent 80% of the market. Uh, so you can deposit variable rate, I'm gonna show how it works, and then you can deposit fixed rate with different maturity dates, and you can borrow the same assets also uh, on a fixed rate for the same maturity date, okay? So the way it works, what is missing here is to borrow on variable rate that's gonna be released in the next few weeks from Tesla. So you have to first deposit your collateral in the variable rate pool, and then you can start playing with, with the protocol. Okay, just let's do a quick demo. So let's say I'm gonna deposit 10,000 10, die. In this case, I don't see a rate because it's variable rate, just deposit money, and then the rate is gonna be coming in every block. Okay, that's how this works. So we're connecting to MetaMask. We're gonna do this transaction on the blockchain, in this case, Rinkery. We don't need to do the gas fee. Okay, we need to wait for a few seconds until the transaction is done. You can check the transaction on Etherscan if you want, in the meantime. So, okay, the transaction is done. You can check in Etherscan, the transaction is already done. And then you can go to the dashboard. In this case, we deposit money here. In this case, the deposit 10K, and you can see that I have 10K more in my DAI uh, deposit amount in my own uh, dashboard. Here I can see all the deposits, the rate composition, the borrow, and very important, the health factor, which is when I'm gonna get liquidated if I don't deposit more money or pay my, pay my loan back. Okay, this is deposit variable rate. It's similar to what, what you are used to do today. Okay, let me show you how it works to deposit at a fixed rate, which is something new. In this case, we have three maturity dates. Let's take almost all. So, got, so remember, uh, here you can see the 4.25%, which is the average API of these pools. Um, okay, so what is happening here is that, uh, let's see, if you see here, the API fix, it's gonna change when I put more money. Okay. If I deposit more money, I will get a lower rate, okay? because the interest rate collected are divided by the money I will deposit. So if I deposit more money, I get less interest rate for the same, everything the same. Okay? So let's say with 10,000 DAI, the API is 4.78, but if I put 100K, the API goes down. Why is this happening? Because the utilization rate goes down. I put more money in this pool. Okay, this is what is going on behind the scenes. So this is just a simulation of how a protocol works. In order to get the rate, I need to deposit money. Okay, I'm gonna deposit money at, at around three percent. Let's say, let's see what is the rate I get. I need to wait a little bit until the transaction is done. And this is happening on the blockchain. It's not happening on, a, on our database. There's no human involved. The interest rate is basically calculated in an autonomous way. This is the magic of the protocol. You don't need humans. You need to trust anyway. Okay, the transaction is done. Thank you, Leo, for that. So if you go to the dashboard, we deposit 10K on that. Okay, I deposit fixed rate. And you will see today I deposit 10, 10K on that. So I have here my deposit. This is gonna look very similar to your home banking, okay? Where you can deposit money, like a time deposit, you can deposit money on the money market, you can borrow money. The idea is that the UX should be similar, very similar to the UX that the people use today for doing financial transactions in the home banking. And also, one very important part of the protocol is that when you deposit on a fixed rate, and you need, you need the money before expiration date, you can withdraw the money before expiration date. Inside the protocol, we are giving the possibility of the users to do the opposite transaction, okay? So if you have a positive 10K die, die, I can take the money out. How do I do it? I do the opposite transaction. I borrow the money, okay? So I can show you how it works. I, could, I can withdraw the 10K, I just deposit, 
And of course, I'm going to have some kind of penalty because there is a difference in the interest rate from supply and demand, but I can do it if I want. So I can, let's say, withdraw early this 10K. So the protocol has the flexibility. So if you need the money, you deposit on fixed rate and you need the money for anything, you can withdraw the money before the expiration date. But if you wait for the expiration date, you know that you're going to get 4% interest rate on this deposit. And this is very important also for institutions, DAOs, <coughs> consumers, and also traders. Traders can basically arbitrage between different maturity dates, fixed rate, variable rates. Okay, the transaction is done. Let me refresh. We are connected to, to, to the graph. Now we have 90k. So we do a, we did a withdraw of the 10k that I deposited before. Okay. Okay. This is how so far we did a variable rate deposit of 10k. We don't know the rate because changes in every block. We did a time deposit uh, maturity date in August of 10k that we withdraw the money earlier because we need the money to pay something. And now we're going to do the last thing, which is borrow money at a fixed rate, which is basically what we need in order to connect DeFi with uh, Alice, Bob, and Kata. So let me show you how it works. So here you will see the four assets. You will see how much money was borrowed in, in each of these assets and the average API for this uh, maturity pool. When I borrow money, you will see very, very similar UX. So let's say I want to borrow 10K, right? 10K. The API is 4.47%. But then if I borrow more money, I get a higher rate. Why is this happening? Because if I, if I borrow money, the utilization rate goes up. You remember this function, the interest rate goes up. So this is what is happening. This is basically what the contract is saying to the, to the user. There is no human being involved. Just if you need more money, there is, a, there is money in the pool, you can take it, but you have to pay more. Okay? And with this money, we can offer a better term for the fixed rate depositors. Okay? So this is very important to happen. People need to borrow money in order to make this protocol work. Okay, in this case, I will borrow only 10,000K DAI, 10,000 DAI. So the API that we think you're gonna get is four. 4.47%. You can see my health factor, it's very good, it's 2x. So you have 2x collateral for, for borrowing 10k, but if I borrow more money, my health factor goes to 1, which is the limit. So I'm, I'm not going to do that because the borrow limit goes to 0. So this is very important. If you borrow a lot of money, you are taking more leverage. If the price of your collateral goes down, you get degraded, similar to the different. Uh, protocols, so it's very important to make sure that the user understands how the health factor works and why you need to have collateral in order to make a loan at the variable rate or at the fixed rate. The magic of the fixed rate is you don't have the interest rate risk. Okay? If the interest rate goes up, you already borrow at the fixed rate for let's say one month, three months, or one year. Okay, let's do a 10,000 die borrow at 4.47%. Again, we are connected to the blockchain. We are creating a transaction. Confirm. We need to wait. So the transaction goes to the blockchain. Someone is going to meet. In this case, we are, we are uh, waiting for a validator or, or someone to validate the transaction. We are not with this. This is the magic of the blockchain. And the transaction is done. We have borrowed 10, 10k. Uh, if you go to Etherscan, this is our ring cabin. You, you can also follow the, the transaction. Okay, let's check on the dashboard if this works well. We can do the borrow. All these borrowers are already done. Okay, this is the one that I did today. Okay, borrow 10, 10k die, 10,000 die. And this is all the rest of the borrowers that have been done in the last few days. 
This is the total amount that I borrow. This is the average fixed rate that I got for all these different borrows that I got. And all these borrows are on a fixed rate. So I, don't have, I know exactly how much I'm going to pay for all these borrows. And of course, the magic of the protocol, if you want, you have money, you can repay early. Okay? So let me repay early this loan because I receive money from an airdrop, something, so I will repay early on my fixed rate loans in the same protocol. I don't need to sell my NFT or my uh, token, just go to the protocol, early repay, let's say 10K again. And you, you can see that if you do a early repay, you improve your health factor because you have less money that you borrow from the pool. Okay, let's do an early repay. Okay, let's confirm. Again, we are going to, to the blockchain. The transaction is going to be validated by someone, we don't know who it is, and then the exactly protocol will give you the, the new balance. In this case, you already prepaid 10,000 that. So you have a copy of the scan. Let's check if it's done. I'll have to go to borrow. Okay, it's done. Repay. You see here? You repay the fixed rate now. So, why I'm showing you how it works? Because this is very simple. Okay, now you need a MetaMask account, you need to have some kind of money cryptocurrency in your wallet in order to, to play with this protocol. But in the next few months, as we get more adoption, anybody can use this protocol for deposit, for borrow, variable rate, fixed rate. So it's very simple to use. If you look at different different fixed income protocols, you need to do like I don't know, eight to ten steps in order to get a fixed rate loan. Here, just press a button, wait for a transaction, and it's done. It's super simple. It's like magic. <laughs> and you don't need humans, and it's autonomous, it's Open source is decentralized, has all the characteristics, characteristics that we are want, want to have for this uh, new financial uh, system that we want to get.